All right, guys, we're back with the screen team. I am super duper excited about this next review. I'm being joined by my good friend Mark Eswine. Now, Mark is uh, I've known Mark. I've known Mark forever, man. We've seen so many movies together. Uh, I've probably seen more movies with him than than anybody else. But I got to say, this next movie review is probably a movie we've. N- I I thought we would never ever see together and uh, it's a movie called a river runs through it uh it was a movie that uh was uh, starring brad pitt and uh actually directed by robert redford it's a story about two sons of a stern minister one reserved one who's a little rebellious growing up in rural montana while they are devoted to fishing now as we were growing up mark i don't would you would you suspect that this would be a movie that uh, you and i could could get into not at all <laughs> This, we've, we've, we've come a long way from the American Pies and the Godfathers and, and stuff like that. I'm curious, what were your initial thoughts um, uh, from seeing this? So your first viewing, what were your initial thoughts? Uh, honestly, I knew we were going to do this for a movie review. So when I got to the end of watching it, I was a little frightened because I thought, I don't know what I'm going to say when we start talking about this because I felt like I should be getting something out of the movie but I was I was try, I was trying to figure out what I was supposed to be getting out of it. So I, I thought I thought it was a good movie. I, you know, I enjoyed the story, but it was it was really interesting for me because I like Robert Redford and I like what he did. I like how he narrated the story. But what I I just assumed that the story was was fictional. So with that, I assumed that Robert Redford was overall trying to make some point. And, you know, and I thought there's a lot of themes in the story, and so I, I, but I thought there was some overall point that you'd be driving home that, that I was probably missing in some way. But since then, I've come to uh, understand that it's sort of an autobiographical story, and that really helped me, it helped me understand that, uh, you know, just the, just the flow of the story. So I found that I found that very helpful. In some ways, I guess I wish I had realized that going into the movie. Mark, I'm glad you you had pointed this out. Why I had chosen you to review this, and there was uh, a, a deeper um, reason why I wanted you to watch this. Um, you and I have grown. Um, a fondness and a love for fishing. It's something that we didn't grow up with. It's something that we've kind of gotten into later on in our lives. And I remember seeing this film with my dad, and I remember the beauty of the fly fishing scenes. And this is something that I have not done yet. I would love to fly fish. And I was like, man, I wonder if, if, if Mark would be into fly fishing. And so I wanted you to see this film to see if you might have found the love of uh, the fly fishing from this movie. And I was, I was curious what your thoughts are with the, uh, uh, with the fishing aspects of this movie. You know, I, I, could, I could barely get plenty of fishing down. Um, <laughs> so when I saw a little metronome going and, and, and them doing the, uh, you know, the, the back and forth and the, the timed, timed motion, yeah, I'm not sure I could do that. So I guess it's a good thing I'm Catholic. But uh, you know, I uh, yeah, I, I think I would enjoy it. it. It would be fun to try a lot of that stuff. Just being out there in nature, and I think I think it. Uh, I think the movie won an Oscar for cinematography, and it definitely uh, did that very well. It really brought you into the movie, and I thought I thought it was awesome. Um, so you know, it, it definitely sells Montana very well, and I think I think that was a great job. It really. Actually, one of the things that I had read about it afterwards was that fly fishing, there was a spike in fly fishing for a number of years after the movie came out. But, uh, yeah, in any case, no, I, I, I'm all in, man. You plan the trip, though. All right, man. We'll we'll plan it. We'll 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 make a trip to Colorado or Montana or something like that and, and get that done for sure. Uh, I'm curious. What did you think about the performances? Uh, Brad Pitt. Uh, I think we both can either take him or leave him. But this was kind of a uh, a role that kind of propelled him into uh, you know mega stardom. What did you think about Brad Pitt's role? Yeah, it was interesting. Um, again, this is one of the this is one of the I guess one of the examples that that really helped when I, when I after the fact, realized it was more of an autobiographical film than, than a fiction, um, because there were a lot of times in the film when I would see things from the older brother's perspective that I would wonder, well, well where's, where's Brad Pitt's character in all of this? So anyway, 
being that of May, I, I thought that as far as that, I thought he did a great job. You know, I almost forgot that he was he was Brad Brad Pitt, which is what you need to do if you feel about Brad Pitt the way I feel about him. No, I, I think he's a good actor, and I, I think he did a great job. So is this a film, do you think, that you can experience again and again and again, or is or is the uh, first viewing uh, enough for you with this film? Um, you know, I mean, it's not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it up there with like other great movies, like, you know, Godfather or something like that, but it's something I could definitely watch again, and I think there's enough, there's enough things going on, and, you know, like I said, the cinematography was, was really good, so I think there's enough things happening that, you know, as you saw it again, there was, there's definitely more to get out of it. Um, so all in all, Mark, who do you think is going to like a film like A River Runs Through It. Do you have to be a fisherman to to enjoy a film like this, or um, do you have to like dramas? I mean, who's this film targeted to? I, I don't think that you have to be a fisherman, because I think, I think whoever you are, you can definitely you definitely see what's going on. I think it's more a story about growing up, and it's a story about sons and fathers and that kind of thing. All of that being said, I think I enjoyed the story more now being in my 30s than I would have if I was 18, 19, or even in my 20s. I, I think I would have been, I think I would have preferred other movies over this movie. But, you know, now it's, it's nice. I mean, this is more of a, this is more of a movie, I think, that kind of makes some reflection after the fact. And so I think if you're, you know, if you're in your 30s, 40s, that kind of thing, as opposed to, a little bit younger. I would think that's the crowd that would go for it, but I think you could be really any age uh, and enjoy it. All right, cool. The movie is called A River Runs Through It. It was a movie that was released back in the early 1990s, starring Brad Pitt and directed by Robert Redford. Mark, dude, I appreciate you being on the show. I know uh, you got a little bit of a cold there, so thank you for uh, for talking with us, man. And uh, 2020, you and I are going to Colorado to do this fishing trip. You down? 2019. <laughs> I love it. it. I love it, man. 2019. All right, man. We got more reviews coming your way next. We'll be doing the movie The Hitman's Bodyguard with Ryan Reynolds. It's coming your way right here on the screen team.